the changes that biology is undergoing are fundamental, and they've been compared to the changes that physics underwent three, four hundred years ago. With the advent of big data, we can now develop theory that allows us to make predictions that go way beyond what we are able to do in the laboratory. And of course, that's what we need, because we need to make predictions not what happens with our cells in the lab. We need to make predictions what happens with patients. There is a great need to develop a new talent that is able to analyze these data sets. Big Summer, which stands for Bruins in Genomics, it's a, it's a summer research experience. So it's really about uh, inspiring undergraduates and show them what is possible and provide them with a set of experiences that they may not have at their home institutions. Fundamentally, you, you have to have skills in uh, knowing programming languages. These skills are the first step. It was a little overwhelming at first, just finding the way to grasp at all the different computer knowledges. You're switching between a couple different programs and learning to interact between them. But then once you kind of get the hang of it, it just felt really natural. And I, I really like the rhythm of writing code now, I found. Yeah, yeah, compared to the previous two. When I found out there's something called bioinformatics, which combines biology and computer science into something very useful, I decided that was what I was going to do. Initially, we are, we are doing these analyses with the yeast genome, and hopefully we can translate that directly to the human genome because, you know, the humans are what we really care about. We can also use the same form of analysis looking at genomes for any number of human diseases and being able to further study those and analyze those just opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. We have a lot of data, but we don't have enough data for this very complex task at hand of predicting human health. What big data allows us to, is to develop many, many more hypotheses. So we work on problems related to understanding how genetic variants are involved in disease, particularly psychiatric diseases. There's a large group of the big summer students that are going to be working on genetics of depression. It's applying the very specific like, computer science skills to overall a more like biological problem. I definitely enjoy seeing the end product once done and appreciating like what went into it. 12,000 whole genomes, and they'll try to look through terabytes and terabytes of data. You can probably get it done, right? It is remarkable that without any theory, without any prior knowledge, the data that you have available allows you to make pretty good predictions about what people are interested in doing next and whether certain advertisements are a good bet for them. The amount of data we need in order to develop a predictive models of human health I think are probably way bigger than what you need in order to determine whether you are a good candidate for shopping for a vacuum cleaner. Human health is so complex, there's so many different aspects that you have to consider. The genome sequence is just the beginning, whether it's nutrition, environmental exposures, and the accumulated history of all of this. This change in biology is not abstract, it's very real and it affects all aspects of this biological science uh, enterprise at the you know, level of funding and the people who are doing the work. Basically, when we download a data set of RNA-seq data, we just like finally got the first part down five minutes ago, so that was pretty exciting. I think we, we were, like heads almost blew up. Since we're, we've been collaborating a lot, because you'll continuously get these error messages, but at the end of the day, they're really a help and it shows you, you know, where you need to do differently and what you need to do correctly. I've definitely considered getting my PhD in bioinformatics because I've seen how much work there is to be done. The field that we're kind of working in right now is, you know, understudied in a sense, and I wouldn't say that that's a bad thing because it's so new. One of the things that the students we really remind us of is that it's really important to have people doing science with very different backgrounds and they bring different ideas and different skill sets around how to think about science and how to think about a particular problem. Everybody will go off into the next steps of their education and will have the benefit of having this common language that allows them to collaborate in the future. You know, we have huge uh, challenges ahead of global warming, of the ecosystems. 
we have huge challenges in food supply, and health is certainly one that is on everybody's mind, but there are other very big challenges that we face as a humanity and that we look for biology to solve.